see art through everything. I see art through just the daily process, and I think that all of us are artists inside just by the way we dress in the morning. Art is everywhere. Everywhere we look, there's art, and everywhere that there's art, the Siskiyou Arts Council is impacting the artist and the viewer. I'm Lori Sturdivant, I'm the Executive Director of the Siskiyou Arts Council. We work hard here to bring the arts to all corners of Siskiyou County, and that's the other thing that's different about us, is that we are, we do the visual, the literary, and the performing arts, and we're a countywide organization. So we go from Forks of Salmon to Tule Lake to Castella to Hilt, and there's no other organization in Siskiyou County that does that. And I think it causes communities to be able to evolve better, to find new directions that are sorely needed. And um, as I see it, um, the art goes hand in hand, or at least art in the community goes hand in hand with the development of that community. It's like a three-legged stool. We have art, we have music, and you have food. Missing one leg and you can't sit down and enjoy it. Oh, the first thing anybody could do is, uh, you know, show up and attend all the different functions. I mean, what's the point of art without an audience? You know, I mean, that's the, the first thing. Um, and then, you know, when birthdays and Christmas and other things like that come around, you know, the key thing to do is check out your local galleries. There's a lot of affordable things and there's also a lot of high end, a little bit of everything. Uh, people have been coming here for like 20 years and they want to come back. They want to see what is it that we have here. And I think they're just blown away by the beauty and the talent that we have here. They, they come, they spend time, sometimes they support and spend money, and, and then it keeps that whole energy and community flow happening. So we really love the visitors and the community here. They love you know, the artists. One of the things that I've been passionate about and committed to is making sure that the arts all of the arts are part of the Siskiyou Arts Council. We have, um, uh, we have a program called the Artist Registry, and that's one of the things that the Siskiyou Arts Council does, is provide that, that venue for the artists to have a web page for membership of $25. We've got a strong board who's committed to the um, arts in Siskiyou County. We've got board members from Wairika and Fort Jones, we're always looking for board members to represent different, not only different communities, but different art forms. We have painters, we have uh, potters, we have basket weavers, we have jewelers. There's a wide variety of people that participate in the gallery. And it was started by a group of women that wanted to display their artwork. And so they all got together and decided to do a cooperative. And we rely on our community in order to be who we are. We wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the community. I colored that with marker and yeah. painted it inside. The bottom has my initials on it. Well, my name is Pamela Newman and I've been working on the Siskiyou Arts Bus Project for the last five years. And as a board member of the Siskiyou Arts Council, I felt the need to find uh, resources for young children in our area. Actually, all age children. This is my project, the Siskiyou Arts Bus, and it is funded by the Siskiyou Arts Council. And we're very grateful for their support. We often will have professional artists from the community come and help out so they can learn about that. Um, sometimes we have volunteers that work with that program. Some of the other arts bus programs that we have are Juvenile Justice, which is a program where we've hired professional artists in the community to go in and work with the, with the uh, children in Juvenile Hall. There's limitations in language and vocabulary and in all kinds of places, social limitations. But in art, it's so open. The Art Matters um, is a program that we partner with the Far Northern Regional Center for Adults with Developmental Disabilities. One of the missions of the program is to um, teach them the business of art. One of our outreach missions is to educate the public but also the children. And we're doing that now through an education program we call Exhibition Explorations. And we offer this to all local schools, kindergarten through high school. I like to make real nice pictures for my family. That's what Siskiyou Arts Council does. 
That's the kind of thing that we can help organizations or individuals to do. Art is probably the one of the most important things in our lives. In that, as I stated earlier, we see it every day of our lives, and we see it in different tones. And I'm so happy that I'm getting these commissions that are so public, and people are going to be able to see and experience fine quality art mosaic. And this is a big step for me and uh, the Siskiyou County, and I think it's wonderful. People come in all the time and they're saying, you know, they're referring to one piece or another which they is their favorite, or, and they ask me, what's my favorite? And I, I don't know. I mean, I just do it. And, but I like to hear the comments and the, uh, the enthusiasm that people have for the work and where they live. Because every, every town has got something different and they want a cowboy here and a, something else there. For, for both of us, I think we started to, um, we started Tycho to explore our own cultural heritage. But we realized that um, Tycho was really needed everywhere and it's really empowering for anybody who plays it and um, so you know we're really blessed to be able to offer this this uh, art form uh, to the community. Siskiyou Arts Council really does matter to individuals, community, businesses and tourists.